Hey, ACPS families, just checking in to make sure you know all about the daily symptom checklist as we gear up to go back into school buildings. To help keep all of our students and staff safe, in addition to several new health protocols, ACPS is asking families to complete the daily symptom checklist each morning your student is scheduled to participate in in in-person learning. The checklist asks a few simple questions to determine if your child is displaying any COVID-19 symptoms or if they've recently been exposed to COVID-19. To complete the daily symptom checklist, you'll need a few things, including your student's ACPS Google ID and a thermometer to take your child's temperature. You can find the daily symptom checklist at www.acps k12.va.us slash symptom or on the ACPS homepage or on your school website. It's even in the ACPS app, but the simplest way to access it may be to click the link in a text message that ACPS will send to your phone early in the morning of each day your child is scheduled for in-person learning. Once you've opened the checklist, select your preferred language and then enter your student's ACPS Google ID, also known as their student email address. Your student uses this each morning to sign into Clever, so it may look familiar. You only need to enter the six or seven characters before the at symbol. To proceed to the first question, click the blue button. It's important that we know if your child has a fever before the school day begins. The first question requires that you check your child's temperature. If it is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, answer yes to this question. If your student's temperature is 99.9 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, answer no to this question. The next question asks if your child has experienced any potential COVID-19 symptoms, like fever, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, headache, or fatigue in the last 48 hours. Please select yes if your child has experienced one or more of the symptoms listed. If they have not experienced any of these symptoms, simply click no or none of the above. The last few questions are about potential exposure to COVID-19. We ask if your student has come into close contact with anyone in the past 14 days who has COVID-19 or symptoms, if your student is currently isolating because they may have been exposed to COVID and are worried they might be sick, and finally, if your student is currently awaiting results from a COVID-19 test. After you finish answering each of these questions, click the blue submit button. And that's it. You will either see a green check indicating that your child is clear to go to school or a red X indicating that your child is not allowed to attend school in person that day. Instead, your child should stay home and participate in virtual learning. Students who are not feeling well should consult with a physician or healthcare provider. Please make sure to complete the daily symptom checklist as early as possible each morning your child is scheduled for in-person learning. The sooner you complete it, the sooner we'll be able to get your student into class each day. If you have more than one child, you will need to complete a separate daily symptom checklist for each student. Thank you for helping us keep COVID-19 out of our schools. We can't wait to see students back in the building.